Hey guys, welcome back. In, in this video, I'm going to show you how to get this lamp uh, modeled, rigged, and then animated. So we've got a lot of work to do. It's an easy little thing. In fact, I've already done this. If you go to my channel, you'll see that uh, I've already done this uh, video, but uh, I did it in Maya. And so right now we're going to do it in Blender. Uh, it's the same process. And there, if you've seen my video in Maya, you know that there's a little glitch that you have to fix in Maya. And I'll tell you what that glitch is in Blender. And so let's go ahead and get started, guys. I am going to go ahead and stop this and create a new file, new general. We're gonna do this in 3D. I'm gonna hide the camera just hit H. I'm going to turn on screencast keys and then I'm going to delete the default cube. Delete. All right, cool. I'm going to hide the 3D cursor because I don't need it. And then let's go ahead and start. Uh, we're going to start with a cylinder. So I'm going to do shift A to add a mesh and then we're going to add a cylinder. <clears throat> and that's my base. That will be the base of the lamp. So I'm going to scale it up a little bit and then scale it down. Hit S and then Z and then scale it down for the base of the uh, right about there. I'm going to go to my front view by pressing one and I'm going to move this whole thing. Grab G and then Z right there and I'm gonna bevel the top part here um, but I have to do one thing before I bevel it and I'll show you why if I just select it uh, hit tab to go to edit mode and then go to number two here uh, is for edge mode and then I option click this edge to select all of them if you just click an edge you'll select that one edge but if you hit the option and then click, you'll select the whole loop. And then I'm gonna apply a bevel. So Command B for bevel. And then I'm gonna apply a bevel. Uh, but you can see what's happening here. Um, it's going, instead of acting like a regular bevel, you can see that it's leaning towards the inside a lot more than it should. I'm gonna undo that. And so what I need to do is go back to object mode, select it, and apply the scale. We've only, we haven't rotated it, we haven't moved it. We're gonna apply the scale here. And like I did in um, Maya, if, I, if you look at this, uh, like I did in Maya, uh, in Maya it's a freeze transformations under modify. And so here in Blender, you have to apply the scale. That way, hit N, you can see that this object has not been scaled. It is as if you just started an object and it's this size. And so when I uh, go to um, object mode, hold option and then click an edge, and then I do command B to bevel and see how that is now acting a lot different than the other the other uh, time the first time we did because we had not uh, done this before and so we get a nice little curve that doesn't go all the way inside it's proportional so that's cool uh, I'm gonna create another I'm gonna go back to object mode shift a to add a mesh Create a cylinder and scale it. Uh, S, uh, right about there. I'm gonna move it up and then I'm gonna scale it um, this way. Scale in the Z, right about there. So I'm starting to um, build that lamp and this is the first uh, post. We're gonna take this same post and shift D to duplicate, right click to leave it there. 
and then we're going to rotate it 90 degrees and I can click 90 degrees here and then scale in the X and then I'm going to move it just up right to about there and so there's going to be two rods that uh, that hold on to this piece. This is the hinge. This is the first hinge. And so I'm gonna go ahead and uh, get this one. Uh, Shift D to, to duplicate. Shift D to duplicate in the Z. And then hit S Z to scale in the Z. And then I'm gonna scale it. I'm gonna make it a little thinner. Uh, scale in all axes and then scale Z again uh, hit S and then Z I'm gonna look at my front view I'm gonna move it over to about right there in fact you know what I think I need to make it a little bit taller so S to scale and then Z in the Z and I'm just gonna make it a little taller and then move it up right there maybe a little less right there uh, I'm gonna shift D to duplicate in the X and then move it over right there I'm gonna select all three of these items one two three shift D to duplicate and then in the Z up and down and I'm gonna place them right there and that's looking okay I'm gonna grab this other hinge and then duplicate it in fact I want to see this so shift D in the Z duplicate it and then grab this one shift D to duplicate and then move in the Z over here and then S Z to make it a little longer and I'm gonna hit period to focus in on it now I'm gonna zoom out I'm gonna grab this one shift D to duplicate and then it move it in the Z and I'm going to scale it quite a bit right about there and what I'm looking at is this this base this is going to be the the head uh, where the light bulb is the housing and so I'm going to hit uh, tab. I'm going to hit number one to go to vertex mode. Select all these vertices. But remember, I have to go to the x-ray mode to select the ones in the back. And then S to scale. And this will be my light bulb housing. I'm going to move them up. Grab in the Z to about right there. Now. That's looking way, way bigger than our base, so I just need, need to adjust it. Um, scale, and then grab. Um, I'll even adjust it even further. Scale, right about there. Just looking at my base, and then I'm gonna grab these scale right to there. All right, let's create that light bulb. I am going to grab, um, Shift A and oh, I gotta get out of this tab. Shift A mesh, and I'm gonna grab a UV sphere. I'm gonna push it up here. That's about the right size for a light bulb, maybe a little smaller scale. And then I'm gonna shape it uh, like a light bulb. Here, let me move in, let me zoom in. And so I'm going to go to tab and, and I am in vertex mode and I'm going to grab the first two rows of vertices and I'm going to move them down. I'm going to move them down, but you can see that um, it's moving just those vertices and nothing else. And I don't want to do that. I want to turn on proportional editing and move it, but I can see my... I'm going to undo that, uh, hit G and the Z, and I can 
adjust the influence of the proportional editing uh, and I can till I get a like a like a, a light bulb shape that's not bad right there all right cool tab to go to um, object mode and then I'm just going to set that light bulb to where I barely see that top. Uh, one more cylinder is that little housing uh, where the light bulb sits. I'm going to do shift uh, D to duplicate in the Z right about there. And then S to scale. And then S Z to scale. Kind of like that and then move it down a bit. right there and if we go to oh we still need to do the the inside of this housing and so this is just a cylinder that we adjusted and we need to adjust it even further to create the inside of it so tab to go to edit mode and I am going to hit number three to go to face mode select that face Hit I to inset, and I'm gonna inset it just a little bit, give it some thickness, and then I'm going to hit E to extrude in the Z. Oops, it was already in the Z. And I'm gonna just gonna move it down all the way to about right there and size it, S to size. Right till in, until it's inside completely. If you want to see the insides, just make sure that you hit S again. Oops, I forgot to take proportional editing off. Take it off. Scale. And I can see the thickness now. I can see like I want it right about there. And that's cool. Turn off X-ray. Let's turn on preview mode. So there it is. I'm gonna hit tab again. And there we go. There's our lamp. It's modeled. Uh, let's create a, uh, I'm gonna do shift A and just put a floor. Mm, I'm gonna put a grid on there and scale. Put a floor there. That way we have something so that this lamp rests on and now we just have to parent this. For parenting, I'm gonna hide this floor for a minute. I'm gonna hit H. Uh, we've got a bunch of cylinders here. Uh, before we parent them, we need to do what we did to this base and we need to apply these transformations. And so let's go ahead. I'm gonna grab everything. I'm gonna grab everything, everything that we created except for that grid and go object apply rotation and scale because we've we've rotated some of the items and we've scaled mostly all of them so applied all the transformation uh, all the rotation and scale for all of the objects if you notice for example, this cylinder, we rotated it 90 degrees. It's been rotated nothing and it's been scaled nothing. And so we get a good clean slate for animating these. And so the next step is to parent them. Hey guys, uh, I'm going to have to break up this video into two since it ran a little long. And so in the next video, we will go ahead and parent these, uh, break the, the lamp using parenting and we will animate this so hey guys if you like the video go ahead and hit the like button and subscribe and i will see you on the next one thank you guys